What is going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to a Whiff of This. This is where I check out new and old fragrances. I unbox them, give my first impressions. I smell them on skin and on paper. Today I'm gonna be checking out a small fragrance house by the name of Savoir Fair. And this is created by Chris Classic. That's his name on Instagram, Chris Classic. This man basically owns this lifestyle brand called Savoir Fair, but he also does stuff with the music industry and he also is a dad. So yeah, this guy's out here literally working. On top of that is also his black owned. I actually found out about this brand not by a fragrance YouTuber or anything, but actually by uh, Michael Anthony or Mike Bless on Instagram. If you don't know who that is, well, just search up Crunchy Wayne and you'll pretty much find everything about him. He also was in Ready to Love. I've been kind of following for a long time. Uh, he does some great work. I don't know actually when Chris started this brand, but I do know this fragrance sells out a lot. In fact, it was just sold out and I was actually able to get my hands on it through The Village, which is another black owned brand. Just like Chris and Mike, they're all based out of pretty much Georgia or ATL. This fragrance is an eau de parfum. It comes in a 50 milliliter, but he does have sample sizes. So if you wanna check out pretty much all his fragrances, you can just buy the sample pack. Uh, that also tends to sell out fast. Pretty much all of his stuff sells out really quick on his website. I'm still trying to get a pair of sunglasses that I can't even get because it's always sold out. So Chris, if you're seeing this video, uh, I don't know if you can send me a pair of some of the some of the other fragrances, but I want to check out Soul Cafe first because I've literally heard nothing but amazing things about this. Also, shout out to Big Bear Business because I recently watched a video and he was actually talking about this fragrance, but I had known about it before. I literally was waiting for it to get back in stock. Again, Savoir Faire is a lifestyle brand. He does. He doesn't just focus on fragrances, although he does an amazing job at them. He focuses on clothing as well as sunglasses and a couple other things. The notes in here are gonna be tobacco, bergamot, blood orange, black pepper, patchouli, private musk blend, amberwood, oud, lavender, Arabic coffee and firewood. So essentially what I'm getting is that this thing is gonna be very complex. Chris doesn't just make a fragrance just to make a fragrance, he makes a fragrance um, that has a story to it. And this one says, this is made to be intensely personal and intimate, sexual even, not the nice we've dated for two months first and discuss previous history and future expectations. This is a fiery and passionate with reckless abandon, knowing your craving being satisfied will justly justify everything else that follows. Were this to partake in the devouring everything is on the table at soul cafe this is like a let's get it on real intimate type of scent which i'm really excited to see because i have a feeling this is going to be great for date nights uh, during the summer months or even probably colder months for sure so let's go ahead and unbox this thing Alrighty, so here is the packaging it's really nice um it says support is a verb i'm actually just gonna cut it and just do it that way because it seems like I don't think there's anything else in this. Okay, there was a little paper in there, but it barely clipped it. It just basically shows what I got. Soul Cafe Eau de Parfume, 50 milliliters. Like I said, if you want to get a sample, you can. I think the sample pack comes with either four or five of his fragrances, and it's like, I think, 50 bucks or so. Uh, it's either 50 or $75, I can't remember. But everything that I talk about in this video will all be in the link description below. All right, so open this up here. Uh, the Village has some stuff on here. This is pretty much about the brand, just promoting it. And then we have the fragrance. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna take the gloves off now. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up this uh, bubble wrap. So it's a nice smooth box, as you see here. It has the crown of his uh, Savoir Faire logo. On the back, it's so Savoir Faire, Eau de Parfum. Then on the side here, there's a little pull tab. So I imagine we pull that out. Oh, hold on. Let me let y'all see this. Hold on. Check that out. Nice presentation for 135. I like that. Let me actually see what this is. So it kind of just shows some, it's almost like a painting or like a picture of maybe the history in the past, which is very different. You know, that's not something you just see on like any regular packaging. And then you have Soul Cafe. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it out really quick. It definitely was snug in there. It has a little foam around it, so that's nice that it stays snug. I like the way the bottle looks. It's a very nice presentation. It's simple, um, simple and elegant. I like that. Nothing crazy, but it's nice. I don't know if you all can read that, but it does say for many, for people of many layers, blended bottles in box by hand with love. So yeah, all this stuff is literally by hand. So that's pretty cool to see that they really do have it. It's really no manufacturing in this besides, you know, the bottle. They probably get the bottle from somebody else. But other than that, I mean, they have to do all this by hand. If you're wondering what 50 milliliters is, it's 1.7 ounces, just to let you know. Again, So Cafe, 
Uh, the cap's nice as well. Let's see. It seems to stay on pretty well, which I like to see. Yeah, it's got a nice, uh, you heard that. We'll do it one more time. Oh, yeah, it's like suction tight. Okay. Yes, I like the sound of that. Whoa. Wait a minute. Whoa. Ho, ho. Whoa. Just from the atomizer, guys. Oh, man. All right, here we go. So we'll do on paper first, and then after that, I'll spray it on my skin. I was wearing my center day was a uh, S boy for him by Draco, aka Soldier Boy. All right, so I'm gonna spray it um, multiple times. We're gonna see if any if they sprayed or anything and did a test spray. Let's see. One. Oh, oh! Somebody did a test spray. I mean, it makes sense. It's by hand. Holy crap! Whoa. I smell orange and I smell woody notes. Oh my gosh, the mandarin orange is coming in so heavy right now. Just in the air. That's just in the air. Not mandarin orange, but blood orange. That's right, yeah, blood orange. I definitely get the black pepper. 100% on paper, I get the black pepper and I definitely get the orange. Mmm. Oh wow, that's beautiful. I like the orange, but it's like, oh wow. I don't have an orange fragrance, I don't think at all. I think there may be one fragrance that I have that may have orange in it, but this might be the first one where the orange is coming in heavy and more on the opening. I really like that. I do smell the lavender in the background. It's that nice flower note, very light. I thought this was gonna be darker, which I'm glad that it's not too dark. I definitely see myself wearing this maybe on a nice cooler day. Um, but yeah, you could definitely wear this date night for sure. Oh, those woody notes. There is oud in here. I don't know if I get that right now. I probably get that when I spray it on skin and let it dry down. Also, y'all see the fit, the Adidas. Uh, this joint was like 18 bucks because it was like members only week. So uh, shout out to them. Y'all see the gains. Y'all know what time it is. All right, let's go ahead and spray this on uh, skin. And then I'll also spray it on my shirt as well. So here we go. We turn the atomize a little bit. Boom. Wow, that's a beautiful atomizer. Boom. And then boom. I don't think we even needed three, but hey, there it is. Whew. Holy moly. This is incredible. Whew. Wow. This is the most orange forward fragrance I've ever had. And it is not bad at all okay i definitely get more of the darker notes now i definitely get more of the woodier notes on my skin i don't get too much of the coffee that they're saying in there and i definitely don't get too much of the lavender but it is it's still a light airy note in the air so that i do still smell it in the air i just smell the lavender i do get some of the firewood like i said i'm getting those woodier notes i'm mainly getting woody notes uh, orange and then i get this nice black pepper in the background if you're looking for something different and you just want to try something new definitely go out and get it uh, as a blind buy. And also, this can be unisex fragrance. So if a woman wanted to wear this, I think it would really, sm it would smell good on a woman too. But I think this is a more masculine fragrance, a uh, masculine forward fragrance. If I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10, at 10 being the highest, I think I'm gonna give it, hmm, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. Do I wanna give it an 8.5? Hold on. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half because of everything that it came with. The packaging, overall experience, the price isn't too high at 135. That's a nice in-between price. If it was 160 for 50 milliliters, I'd be like, all right, hold on now. But you get you get 1.7 ounces, so almost two ounces for 135. Eau de Parfum, niche fragrance, you're supporting a small business, a small black business at that. Yeah, I'm gonna give this an eight and a half out of 10. And uh, I would definitely recommend you guys check this one out. Let me know if you have this one in the comment section below. Like I said, it does sell out quickly. I'll have everything in the link in the description below. Till next time, you guys. Peace out.